Guangzhou in the province of Canton is one of China's richest ports. In the center of the city, covering an area of 10 square kilometers, you'll find a little piece of Africa. Houses, shops, hairdressers and restaurants. A village among the skyscrapers. Here in Little Africa, the inhabitants speak English, French, Malinke and Susu. The 200,000 inhabitants are from Mali, Cameroon, Guinea, Liberia, Nigeria and Congo. They are Muslims and Christians. 20,000 of them have their official papers with an entry visa and an authorization to stay over six months. According to official estimates, the number of, quote, legals should increase by 30 to 40 percent each year. D'habitude, je, je fais toujours les allers-retours, je viens ici, je fais mes achats, mes séjours s'arrêtent et puis je regarde mon pays. C'est ce que j'ai toujours fait depuis deux ans. Usually I go back and forth. I buy things here and go back home. I've been doing that for the past two years. I generally buy telecommunications products, computer hardware, some telephones, and spare parts for computers. I've always dealt in microprocessors, hard drives, and various computer accessories. It's easy to find affordable computerware here in China. You buy here and sell in Africa, and the prices are still low. So that's a good thing. But there aren't just computer salesmen here. Africans also buy clothing and other fashion accessories. Some even have their own boutiques. Elengola Mawango is from the Democratic Republic of Congo. She settled in China three years ago. Here in Gangzhou, business seems to be booming. People are talking a lot about China nowadays, and a lot of people are coming here, Americans, Europeans, there are people from all over. Even Africans come here to do business. At first it wasn't easy, but it's a lot better now. The Chinese are signing contracts with just about everybody. China is okay. It's really not bad. The houses are good and the shops as well. I came here to do business. With hairdressers, clothes stores and a host of other small businesses, the Africans here seem to have successfully adjusted to life in China. Although they do still come up against cultural and linguistic barriers. When we meet, we say hello. That's all. I don't speak their language and we can't communicate. According to an official report, Chinese police arrested 63,000 illegal African immigrants from 1995 to 2006, including 16,000 in 2006 alone. Beijing faces a dilemma. Although China is committed to signing equitable commercial exchanges with Africa, the Asian giant must also cope with a wave of African immigrants settling in areas that are already heavily overpopulated. And furthermore, the new arrivals increase competition for business and labor.